Greetings and salutations. <laughs> Squeaked. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, YouTube. It's Hayden here. Welcome to another episode of Goodwill Hunting where we go to various Goodwills and see what treasures we can find. Today, we're sitting in front of one of my most favorite stores ever. I think if you were to ask me, Hadrian, what's your favorite Goodwill store? And you know what? I think I would probably say this one. So I'm very excited to take you guys in there with me. I'm hoping we can find some treasures. Today is Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all the fathers and all uh, father figures and mothers, like single mothers and like all that stuff. So like you guys are all amazing and I love all of you. And I'm really excited to take you guys into the store. But if you guys love thrifting and love thrift hauls and vlogs, don't forget to subscribe to the little bell button for notifications. Add me also on Instagram. It's Hadrian. I just like it's spelled here for more behind the scenes thrifting action, like home decor, food, all that fun stuff. Check me out there. And also check out my shop. It's Hadrian.com. And if you guys message me or comment on one of the items or send me a DM on Depop, I will lower the price for you by 10%. And that's for the entire month of June. But without further ado, let's head into the store and see what we can find. Here we are, guys. Let's go inside. Ooh, girl, look at this. This is 30, 25. This bookcase is 50. This one's new from Target. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this like Mickey Mouse backpack. Where is this from? I'm trying to see if I can find out when this was made. I don't know, I can't really tell. I, find, I kind of feel it's like it looks a little vintage, don't you guys think? But who knows? It's $3.99. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It is very dirty though. Like I feel like it would definitely need a good washing. It's like a cup in there. There's a Hollister bag. It's like canvas. Man, the bags are definitely a little bit more picked over today. That is for sure. Oh, uh, you know, today's a Sunday. I haven't gone on a Sunday in a while. Usually I have been going on Saturdays. Plus, I feel like a lot of people might have gone thrifting yesterday because today is Father's Day. So they're like, probably off maybe doing Father's Day activities today. The store's actually not very full. This is like a fake Fendi. It's like an F and like a backwards L. I don't like that pattern, it's like a chain. This is like a very thick canvas, so I wonder if it's like anything specific or if it's just a, like a thick canvas tote. It's lined in plastic too. Huh. What is this? Bur Barasiana, Liz Claiborne. Oh, this is a Clark's bag. Hey, this kind of looks like, is it like a Birkin? Oh, this is how it connects. Like this is how it closes right here. Like that. I know Clark's makes really good shoes. I didn't really, I don't think I've ever, have I seen hand, maybe I have seen handbags before. I didn't really pay too much attention. I wonder how much this is. Whoops, I'm glad a jumper. Now the price is $10. Oh, there's this, I think this is a fossil, yeah? Let's see, it might not be. No, relic, almost a fossil. Relic makes fossil, I think relic is usually made of leather. I don't think I've ever seen one that is leather, so I think they exclusively work with leather, and their designs are sometimes similar. Oh, look at little bunnies. <laughs> it's almost like a Chanel. Oh, a fossil. I was just gonna say, this is very, like that is very indicative to fossil bags. Ten dollars. It's cute, but there's a lot of stainage, and it's missing the crossbody. 
I think I'm gonna be picky and not get this particular one. So this is cute. I think I've gotten this in pink before. I'm just gonna hold on to it for right now. I might change my mind later on. Oh look, we also found, this is a Dooney and Burke. Let's see if it's authentic. I feel like it is now that I'm touching it. Sometimes the patent ones are a little difficult to discern. Yep, this one looks good. Uh, let's check it out. Oh, there's a lot of color transfer on the back. A lot of color transfer on the bottom. I think we're gonna have to, patent is really hard to get out of like the color transfer out, especially when it's like a set in stain. So there's a chance that, well, there's a very high probability that um, we won't even be able to get the stain to come out. Like it might lighten just a tad bit, but probably won't. But if you guys ever do get like some sort of color transfer on your patent, um, try to get out ASAP. Like I can't stress that enough. Try and get that stain out really quickly. Use some um, rubbing alcohol, nail polish remover. What is this? Oh, is this like the sack I think? Yeah, the sack. The leather feels pretty nice. This is pretty cute. Look at that. $9.99. Who makes this? I feel like... I think it's pleather though. There's this... Ariel. What is this guy? Nope, $7.99. Oh, it feels like crunchy inside. That's weird. Uh, let's see what else we can find here. Rosetti. This is kind of like an interesting bag. The fabric feels pretty nice. Multi sack. This looks kind of like a coach, but it's not. I don't think look. I don't think coach does that, or like they do it like a little differently on the end of their zippers. Um, but okay, we reached the end of the line. We found a couple bags. I kind of. I still just have. This one fossil in my bag right now. Oh, let me show you guys what else I found along the way. I forgot to show you guys. I'm just gonna throw that in there. Look at these little disposable like booties for dogs. Oh my gosh, can you just picture like Peanut and Eliza wearing these? They're gonna be so mad, but it's gonna be so cute. And I also got this. Eliza needs a new one. Or Peanut, we'll see who it fits. But Eliza definitely needs a new one. Hers is like a hot mess. Oh, this birdhousey thing is pretty cool. And so are those hurricanes. This glass face is really pretty. $7.99. I like this detail on it. That's really cool. This fake plant. $7.99. I found one of these like 360 defense things for Apple Watch. It's kind of cool. They just brought out this new cart. It's good to be queen. How cute is that? Cat figurines everywhere. Just looking at the vase, this one's actually pretty cute. Richardson? Oh. This one's kind of cool looking too. Alright you guys, now I'm looking at the little knickknacks. 
Look at this little elephant. He's cute. 599. <gasps> this one is killer. You can oh uh, he's so cute with a little heart. 399. This looks like you know I've seen something like this. I think it's like Jonathan Adler. Oh my gosh, are you guys serious? How cute is he? Do you think there's another one? It would be like awesome to have too. These are kind of cool also. Tachi Tachikichi. Alright you guys, check this out. It's like a little face thing. It's so cool. I love the print. I love the coloration. It's so unique and it weighs like a ton. I don't know what it's made out of. Probably ceramic or I don't know. That's really pretty, but it's eight dollars, a little pricey. But I feel like it's almost like. But I think I think it might be worth it. Also, I noticed <laughs> the little tail's broken, but I still want them. So there's also this super cute cat statue. So adorable. So there's this super cool like coral piece. It is missing like a little thing right there for like supposed to be um, a fifth candle holder thing. It's pretty cool. I think it might actually be, is it actually coral? No, it can't be. Or is it like kind of shiny in there? But I don't know. Anyway, it's cool, but it's broken. Check out all this like Target stuff. The little gnomes. Oh, never enough time. That's cute. $2.99. This little bear light. Oh, this seahorse is adorable. This is nice too. Oh, gardening gloves. I'm just looking at the little knickknacks. Seeing if there's anything. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's like plastic. Look at how cool these are. These are from Project 62 from Target. They're 10 bucks. They're like pre-made little terrariums with plastic plants. <gasps> oh, grandma and a grandpa. They're piggy banks? How cute. Look at them, they look so happy. They're like holding hands. Ooh, look at that bunny. Oh, this is nice too. What's this? Oh, it's like a, for a light. What is this, yellow lettuce? Tomatoes, made in Japan. This is really pretty, I like the colors. These are so gorgeous though, look at that. Oh, box graph. So pretty. Stop, why is everything so pretty? Too bad it's cracked right there. $4.99. Oh, these are cute too. Designed to inspire smiles. Kerry Olsen Gerard. Oh, this is really pretty too. Oh, you guys, this is gorgeous. I don't know like the make or anything of it, but that is really pretty. I might have to take that home with me. I'm like really into like these little skinny, like small, um, like vases right now. That's really pretty too. Hold on, I'm trying to look at this. This is actually from Target. It's like another like little kind of like terrarium kind of bit. Originally, I think it's originally $14.99. It's on sale for $5 here, $4.99. What's this green or purple thing? Green, why did I say green? I feel like I'm like colorblind. Contain. Oh, look at that. Keep, hold, contain. Oh, shut the front door. Ray Dunn. That is so stinking cute. I love Ray Dunn stuff. So, of course, I liked it. Oh, the cuteness does not end. What is this, like a radish? $7.99. How stinking cute is this? Boys... The Ark by Heather Outlock something, oh, I can't even read it. The Essex Collection. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so stinking 
to you. I also think this is half off because blue tags are on sale. <gasps> Stop it. Okay, her stuff is pretty expensive. Oh, it's so cute. I just like it. Like, it's so whimsical. It's so fun. Would you guys like it if I put it in the shop? You know, I see the green cups. I think this is one of the cups. This purple one. Oh, it's like cracked though. Yikes. All right, we're just gonna leave that. We're gonna think about this. I'm just gonna leave it in the cart for the time being and just look around. I have just been <laughs> spending, I've like been in the same like two aisles for like 30 minutes, literally looking at every single thing. This store just makes me so happy. This cat is so cute. Oh, $5.99. His like eye is like a little wonkers, but still cute. Look at the little house. This wire bunny would have been perfect for Easter. I feel like I need to like start hoarding seasonal decor. But I can't do that until I fix up the garage and the storage unit. I have to be strong. Look how cute this is like for eggs and stuff. Um, okay. And then you guys are like, but Hayden, you are hoarding all that stuff. <laughs> I promise, I'm not. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to be strong. This product is created to prevent tarnishing clean with soft, moist cloth. Do not use polish. Cool. I'm trying to get to this handbag looking thing back here, because how cute is this? Okay, so it looks like a handbag. Slash a zebra. Slash gorgeous. I think this might be from Home Goods. Cause that kind of looks like a home goods sticker, right? Um, $7.99. It's pretty cute. Imagine if it was blue and white. That would be so fabulous. Okay. Oh, this hat. It's like a, oh, you like hanging or something. Oh, more cats. Okay, now that like little gnome looking thing kind of looks scary. We're just not gonna look at that too. Oh, you guys seeing this? This is pretty. Old fair. It's like lettuce meets flowers. Maybe it's not even lettuce, it's just flowers. Okay, I have to stick to my lettuce motif, you guys. So I have to be super strong. This is cute though. Oh, wish it was blue. Will it go hot? You put this in the microwave? How cute is this? A luggage store? <laughs> I remember I saw one like this. That was the post office. I wish I got it because I am always at the post office and it would have been so cute to have it on display. <sighs> It's okay though. Okay. All right, you guys. So I'm on the like on the hunt for Ray Dunn stuff because I saw that one Ray Dunn piece. But look at this little Mary Englebright like plate. Mom used to be so obsessed with Mary Englebright. She still loves it, but she doesn't collect it as extensively as she used to before. I don't even remember the last time she bought like a Mary Englebright piece. Oh, uh, this is plastic. This is nice. Ninety nine cents. Uh, but every time I see Mary Englebright, it reminds me of like my childhood because mom used to have like all this Mary Englebright stuff. She had like teapots, she had like a napkin or napkin holder, paper towel holder. This is a nice bright red color. Okay. Hadrian, you're getting sidetracked. Oh my gosh, look at this. It has like the cookies built into it. How fun, that one's $1.99. These are pretty. Ooh, fun. Very like beachy vibes, right? Look at this blue and white plate, Royal Stafford. Oh, uh, this is pretty too. I love like this like edging on it. Oh, look at that, some Santa plates. Crate and barrel. Girl, a dollar ninety nine though each. That's two, four, six, eight. That's ten dollars for that. Okay, so 
you have to be wary of when things come in singular like singular like this that are like actually a set because sometimes you're gonna pay as much or sometimes even a little bit more than you would if you're gonna buy it in a set at the store so like stuff like that you just have to like be careful of. though a lot of the time sometimes they do sell them singularly also at the store but yeah And you also have to be careful too with a oh, pottery barn. Yes. This is the Emma collection. But it's green. I only collect the white and the yellow, but I think right now I'm exclusively only looking for white because I have so much of the yellow. I think I have like almost a complete set of yellow stuff. Ooh, this like please be Le Creuset. No. Parisian rotisserie. Oh, is this a crate and barrel plate? Oh, this is nice. Oh, uh, $2.99. Now this is like worth it. This is probably sold like by itself. Sometimes the smaller ones are sold in sets. Oh, I have a princess house thing just like this. You guys, look at how cute this mug is. It's Harry and David. So cute. It's $1.99. Ooh, look at this plate. Okay, hold on. Let's just like put this right here. Oh, blue and white. Ah, Pilko. So pretty. That broken. Alright, now I am over kind of like in serving dishes, bakeware. Oh, they have this like eggplant thing still. This is cool. $5.99. This would be like so pretty with like some flowers in it. Or just to use normally. I always just want to put flowers inside everything though. Kentucky Derby. I saw a Pegasus. I was like, oh my gosh, the Pegasus is calling me. Crate and Barrel, Z Gallery. No, none. Um, let me know if you guys find anything cool. I'm just trying to look through everything. <laughs> uh, the mugs. The mugs, the mugs, the mugs. All this girl needs is some coffee and a donut. How cute, this one's crate and barrel. I feel like it's coming off though, and it is. Did someone make this? How cute. Look at this. This would be cute with a plant inside of which I think, which I think was used as a planter because it has like a bunch of dirt inside. Virginia Rose. Oh, it's cracked. That's pretty though. Plus it's Virginia, just like mom's name. So I'm always partial to anything like that. Drinkware. That one's from Target. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, this is also from Target, too. They have been stepping up their game recently with this stuff. Boho Boutique. $4. Really pretty. I feel like Target's been stepping it up with a lot of their, like, home decor stuff recently. So I'm, like, really enjoying it. And I have a lot of their stuff already, too. So. Always fun. Oh, my gosh. How did I miss this? But it has a chip. That is so depressing. $2.99. So cute though. Soap dispenser. Oh, I forgot to look at this. This is pretty nice too. Made in Italy. I think it's from Marshalls. Oh my gosh, it's Dolores Umbridge from Harry Potter. She was the worst. But she did like kitty cats, and I love kitty cats too. $5.99. I want to watch Harry Potter now. That's just got me like in a Harry Potter mood seeing that. But I'm just checking out the toys. See if there's anything cool 
for the kids. I have enough trucks, I think. Especially the big trucks. <gasps> Stop. Oh my gosh, this is half off. I really like this one. I like it better than like the black and white one. I wonder if there's any more anywhere else. Oh, one of those potty things. Oh my god, this is so hilarious. The kids would like totally get a kick out of this. Oh, it's this thing's missing an eyeball. This world map thing is actually pretty nice. Plus, you know, the blue and white color combo has definitely caught my attention. It's eight dollars. Checking out the rest of the toys. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this truck over here. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? It's like definitely more than a little dirty, but it's so cute. Oh, the tires don't actually work. It's so cute though. Oh my gosh, I see something with tassels. <gasps> I love it. That's pretty. Okay, Hadrian, calm yourself. But like, I can't be calm with all these cool stuff. Okay, this one's gonna be $40. Project 62, clean with the water. Oh, this is an indoor outdoor rug. Nice. This is a seven by 10, which means it's huge. Oh, there's a hammock. The <gasps> uh, 40 bucks. I've always wanted a hammock. Oh, is this a runner? Oh, it's too thick though. This is really pretty. Oh, it's $40 also. Okay, yeah, so this is a 5x7. It's nice. Oh, this is like a another one. This is a carpet. Chenille rag rug. Oh, Shindy rag rug. 4x6. $14.99. So I found this outdoors, like a patio rug, but it's like a runner. Twenty dollars. It's originally fifty, and it's two point five by seven ten, so it's almost eight feet long, which is perfect. I can use this in the kitchen or at the barbecue. So I think I might get this. And then also next to it was like Fate, it was a Starbucks mug. I don't think I'm gonna get it. It's two ninety nine, and like the print is kind of like coming off just a tad bit, but. Still kind of cool. I really like this rug a lot. All right, you guys, check it out. I found these Tory Burch pants. They're thirty dollars. They're like a seafoam. They're corduroy, a little like a like a like a tad bit out of season, but seven bucks. You can't really beat that. Plus, they look in really good condition. They're cute. Why did you make them into shorts? I was at the store. Hope you guys had fun with me thrifting. If you guys did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified when the video does go up tomorrow for the haul. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, you guys. So, all steamed up. I don't know. I cannot get those wrinkles out. Like, they're still, like, they're just crumbling in there, I think, till the next time we wash it. But, so, I'm trying out these pink pillows over the yellow ones. Um... I don't know. I think I'm just gonna leave it yellow for the time being. I think I definitely need more of an like an injection of like the pink than that. I think I probably need like maybe one or two other pink pillows. So I think I'm just gonna leave them.